All right, welcome back. So uh, we are in the middle of uh, helping Jelly Jim, uh, helping Eve, and uh, I had a uh, glitch with my recording, so I didn't realize that uh, my recording had stopped. And so uh, we did miss a little bit of content, a little bit of the story. Um, we are talking with Jelly Jim right now. Uh, Eve uh, helped us to uh, talk to J Jelly Jim to try to figure out what is going on with this sea monster. We were able to use the Sonic Blaster to move all of the uh, ink away, and so there's a hole that we're going to be exploring. So uh, I just caught up, just started the recording again. Um, apologies for the uh, technical difficulties, those sometimes happen. Um, so Jelly Jim says, why hello again, friend. Grand to see you. What can I help you with? You want to show Eve something you found down here? Well, an underwater camera would be perfect for that. Okay, so we're probably going to be looking for an underwater ca uh, camera to show Eve the hole. An underwater camera, awesome. And one last thing, here's some gold to help you on your journey. Best of luck. Thank you, Jelly Jim. This gold is going to turn out to be very valuable. 200 gold coins, wow. Let's go take that photo. All right, let's go. So we're gonna come on up here and we will find the hole and then we'll take the photo. We're gonna slink past this fish guy right up here. Okay, and then if we time it well, we'll be able to go right between these guys as well. Come on, let's go. There we go. All right. Okay, looks like with the water neek, we are gonna have to... Uh, or river river neek is that right river neek yeah this river neek we will have to go ahead and have a battle and i'll go ahead and uh start out with this and then we will move on so uh it says venny has 10 coins in her piggy bank chiquita has nine coins in her piggy bank Janny has one coin in her piggy bank how many coins do they have in total so we have 10 coins here for Venny, and then Chiquita is going to have 9. 9 plus 1 is going to be 10 as well. So we're going to have two 10 frames. Two 10 frames is going to be two groups of 10, which would be 20. So this is going to be representing 20 coins that all of the girls have. All right. So 20 here. And let's cast this spell. Woohoo! All right. There we go. 2,690 spell point <clears throat> bonus. That's awesome. Excuse my throat. All right. Now let's do supernova. Okay. There were 10 frogs in a pond. Eight more frogs jumped into the pond. Finally, two more frogs jumped into the pond. How many frogs are there in the pond now? So we have 10 frogs and then eight plus two frogs. That would be 10 again. So this answer is gonna be 20. 10 plus eight would be 18. 18 plus two, that's going to give us 20. All right, so let's move all of our counters over. Manipulating counters. We're back to the uh, first grade assessment. Um, it's uh, checking out my first grade skills here. One-to-one um, -one correspondence is huge and helps us so much with our higher math skills. So I am more than happy to go ahead and showcase my knowledge of this, but not 200 for 20. Let's cast that spell. Woohoo! All right. And I think I should be ranking up that skill pretty soon. There we go. So the River Neek is running away. And then we will be facing our Shade. And there is pretty good spell power bonus there. Falling Star Smash should uh, end this battle for us, though. Uh, Gudrun and Megan are collecting shells at the beach. Gudrun collected 11 and Megan collected 6. On their way back home, they found three more shells. Okay, how many shells did they collect all together? So we have 11 first, 
11 plus 6, that would be 17. 17 plus 3, so that's our 11. Let's put in 6 here. This would be 4 here, and then 2 on the bottom. 4 and 2 would equal 6. And then we would have 3 more. Okay, so 2 on the bottom. 2 plus 3 is going to give us 5. So 11 plus 6 is 19. 11 plus 6 is 17. 17 plus 3, that is going to be 20. So we're showing 20 again with this problem. All right. And there we go. That is enough for shade. See you later, buddy. Awesome, awesome. We won. Cool. So we have 21 battle stars each. A few more. All right. Getting pretty close to 52 here. We still have some eggs, some magic eggs, and some other stuff. All right, let's go down. And then we need to take a picture of the hole. So let's head on down over this way. Up through here. Up through here. And, <clears throat> excuse me, we still do need one more dizzy fish. Um, so I'm hoping that we find our last dizzy fish in this area today. Um, and we are able to go ahead and get there. So we're going to have to have a battle with this one. We can just edge right around here so we don't have to have two battles right now. Um, and all right, it is time for supernovas. Let's go ahead and we should be able to get two supernovas, I think. Um, Erlene read 14 books this week. Way to go, Erlene. That's two books a day. That is very impressive. Uh, Lael read three books this week. Alina read two books this week. How many books did they read all together? So 14 is going to be 10 in this 10 frame and then four extras. And so let's go ahead and put our four extras here. And we'll be representing Erlene's books and um, great job, Arlene. Super impressed. Okay, now three books for Lael. So that's one, two, three. And then Alina totally dropped the ball with her two. So we have 10 plus nine. That's going to be 19. 19 books the girls read. Woohoo! And we have a skill. All right. We completed a skill. Let's go ahead and click OK for that. Up it goes, and down it comes. Boom. Great spell power bonus there. And I think we should get just enough mana to cast one more AoE. 1565 for spell power bonus. That's area of effect. Um, let's go ahead and cast that. Okay, so seven tens and three ones. What does that equal? So 10, 20, 30. 40, 50, 60, and 70, 71, 72, and 73. Counting on as we do uh, problems like this is very helpful for developing that uh, fluency of building up and taking down. All right, here comes our supernova. Boom. Boom. Okay, so two more attacks should give us enough uh, mana for an AoE for our next battle. And I think we're sitting pretty for this one. Falling Star Smash, here it comes. Six tens and eight ones. Okay, so count with me. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62, 63, come on, come on, come on, 64, 65, 66, 67, and 68. Six tens and eight ones is 68. All right, let's cast that spell. Woohoo! 
Okay, and then one more left. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Here it comes. 1,211 points of damage. Falling Star Smash. We do have enough uh, mana now for an AoE, which is awesome. Six tens and two ones. So that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. This block represents one tens. 61. This block represents one ones. 62. All right. That was nice, that little voice there. 62. Six tens and two ones is 62. Awesome. So there we go. Goodbye, goodbye. We will see you later. We won. Awesome. Thank you for the help. Good job. 21 battle stars. And... I think we are pretty close to getting around to, to the other area. 300 gold coins, two magic eggs, morph marble misteel, tin can, and 20 yards. Awesome. Okay, so let's make sure we're right by this edge here. So we can sort of slip by. And let's go down the hole. All right, so we are going to take a picture right here. First, we have a uh, funk eel, and it, hopefully it's just the funk eel. It is just the funk eel, which is a great, great opportunity to get our mana up. Okay, so we are using base 10 blocks to show 9 10s and 9 1s. So I'm going to start with the 1s. I don't think you should do that, but I do want to go ahead and practice uh, counting on from different numbers. So counting on from different numbers. By the time you get to the end of second grade and into third grade, it's a really good skill to have. So let's go ahead and count our ones at, now that I'm done chatting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 19, 29, 39, 49, 59, 69, 79, 89, and 99. Okay, and so counting like this is um, really uh, good for flexibility and having a flexible math brain is super important. So we got composing numbers, a skill up there. It always feels so good when that happens. So um, I hope you guys feel just a sense of pride when you get a skill down. It's great to build up those skills and um, rank them up and get that much closer to the next level of mathematics. So what number comes next? 88, 90, 92. So we are skip counting by two on even numbers. So 88, 90, 92, 94 is gonna be our next number. Woohoo! All right, one more will do us. So if we get this next question right, we will have it. Okay, so let's go ahead and do one more Falling Star Smash. Now this is odds. It's going up by two, but from the odd numbers. So we're counting up odd numbers. 93, 95, 97, 99 is going to be our next odd. All right. Good job, good job. And there we go. We are ready to take our photo. And then we'll go back and we will talk with Eve. After we talk with Eve, we will be opening up a conjure cube. So go ahead and make sure you uh, hang out for that. Can't wait to see what we get. It's always exciting when we open up those, isn't it? Oh, and we are so close to 52. Can you believe that? We are just points away from level 52. So 200 gold coins, one copper coin, one magic egg, and 20 yards. All right, let's go take our... I think I'm actually going to open up the uh, treasure chest before, because we'll probably go straight back to eat. Ooh, shell armor helmet. Wow, a new hat. Would you like to put it on? Not now. I think I'm happy with the um, fox mask. All right, that is exciting. Yeah, let's share that with our buddies. Take the photo. Nice. All finished. Let's head back, okay? Let's go straight there. Yes, let's return straight to Eve. You did it. Way to go, kid. Thank you, Eve. 200 goals and an admiral's coat. That's exciting. Wow, a new outfit. Yes, let's put it on. Wow, way. A 
According to the tunnel, this monster is huge. It looks pretty huge, Eve. Just to make sure we know as much about this beast as possible before taking it on, see if you can find anything else it may have left behind. Okay, we're going to look for the things. The more about it, the better. We're going to look for things it might have left behind. So that's where we're going to be going in our next video. But right now, yeah, let's share that. I want to open up our uh, Conjure Cube. And let's see what we have gotten. Oh, Firefly robes. Ooh, those are cool. A dining table and an apple. That is awesome. I think we're going to keep the Admiral's co coat on, but those Firefly robes are really neat. Uh, not now. So exciting. All right. Great job, guys. I am going to go ahead and we're going to say goodbye for today. Um, and I will be looking forward to seeing you. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, keep on prodigying on, and um, who knows, maybe next video we might be finding that last elusive dizzy fish, okay? Uh, take care, see you next time, bye-bye.